gonna change the world with my hockey stick. Oh, I haven't heard this song gonna in a while. Make a real difference. Feed the poor and heal the sick. Oh, wow. Welcome back, Chippy. Welcome back. It's, I was just telling uh, Chippy Me. before the podcast that there's no reason that Jeremy and I couldn't record an episode without you. Plenty of reasons. We, we're sitting right here. Yeah. We, we could take like half an hour and record a pod. We already talk about things that are happening. What you could do is just <laughs> plop the mic underneath my mouth while I'm in the <laughs> office and start talking. Yeah. And then... Like just just walk up to you, set it down, and be like, "All right, we're doing a podcast. No no video." Yeah. Well, sometimes you know I got to do my taxes, or I got to get the emails oh. caught up, or I got to edit a video, or I got to get basically up on Instagram or TikTok. If Chippy's not here, then there's something more important that Jerry's got to do because Chippy brings the energy. I mean, I bring, I bring us together. You I'm the do. glue guy. Yeah, really, I'm the glue. Even right yeah, now, <laughs> even right now, I'm like, I do have to get this YouTube video done. Oh my what? goodness! Don't even get me going, because- Jerry. There's so much stuff that we, I have to do. We've that delayed I'm not doing it. exactly. Yeah. We, we've de- delayed enough that I'm like, yeah, we got to do a pod. Yeah, we got to, we got to, and we'll catch up a little bit on what you guys have been up to a little later. I want to start off the episode with an idea I had in the past month because we haven't recorded. Um, it's Coach's Corner. Mm-hmm. It's our own spin on it. It's not like the the Coach's Corner we all know and love from. Don Cherry days. We're not going to get a cease and desist from old grapes. Oh, well, we'll see about that. But no, <laughs> uh, no, it's just a, an idea I had where I'm going to either take a real scenario that someone gives me and tell you guys or ask you guys what you would do as the head coach. Yep. Um, so it's for coaches. Um, or I'm going to make up a scenario like I did today. Okay. And you guys are, will tell me kind of what you would do in that situation. Or a scenario like from it. your childhood that yeah, like, I you're might still just traumatized about. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be me. It's like therapy. Sure. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I love therapy sessions. These are good. I yeah, like yeah. This. I'm enjoying this segment um, already. So this, I'll, I'll just read it to you. I wrote it out here. So one of the most skilled players on your team is afraid of body contact. Mm-hmm. So much so that they turn the puck over almost every time. The other team goes to body check. Them. Doesn't sound like the most skilled to me, but continue. Okay, that's fair. That <laughs> you you believe if they're able to overcome that fear, they could be one of the best players, if not the best player on their team, and probably the best in the division if they just Ooh. would not turn the puck over every time someone goes to hit them. Yeah. Mm. So what would you do to help them? Easy gauntlet. Gauntlet. What's that? Gauntlet. The gauntlet is you line in practice. You line your whole team up along the boards, and you send the player down the gauntlet. Get a just body fight check fire with fire. Body exactly check after body check say. after body check. The yep. whole team lays one on. Desensitize them. Too. Exactly. Yeah. Exposure therapy. Crush the kid. <laughs> it's just, no, it's, it's and so then you true. finish. You you go the last in the line when they're the most tired, and you just level. Just them. level the kid. I mean, <laughs> when I used to play, like you get a little nervous, especially when the hitting started, because mm-hmm. you're like, damn, I could get crushed this game. Yeah. But the best games I played were. First shift, someone just labeled me into the boards. Wake you up. And I was just, all right. Like, now you're I'm angry. Not, now you're playing well, angry. Now it's like, yeah, then now you're like angry. Now you're like not scared to get hit, but you're the one going to throw the hit. Right. Like, that's the difference in the mindset. When you're scared to get hit, instead of being the aggressor, like that's the, I think that's the shift you need to have is like, instead of being scared, it's like, no, I'm the one that's going in. I want this contact. Yeah, I was. The, embracing that contact. I was the smallest kid on my team and going into contact, the coach ran the gauntlet. And I was like, oh my gosh. I felt a little safer because it's my own teammates. So I. They're except, not going to try to. Except for that her. one guy. <laughs> except for that one or your two guys. Your best friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> try to take your head off. There's going to be a couple yeah. that might just try to end my life right there on the ice. But besides <laughs> those two, you're going to get a few nice little gentle pushes. Okay, I'm kind of getting a feel. And then wham! Oh, okay, that one hurt a little. But yeah, we're good. Now it's my turn to, to deck the other kid. I'm going to get him back. Yeah. Uh, but the coach gave me a few tips, you know, stay low, stay wide. Keep to the boards. Yes, keep, put your weight against the boards so it's not like a double hit, Yeah. right? And, you know, just, just kind of push back a little. Like embrace, yeah. yeah there's, like... there's different ways to take the contact, right? Mm-hmm. And once I went through that a few times, I felt more comfortable and uh, then broke my ribs. Nice. So just yeah. being a little devil's advocate here, let's say that this made-up person – player went through the gauntlet mm. two years ago mm. they've been playing body contact for a couple oh, of years still now, scared still and scared. they're still like they just they shy away from the contact what would you how would you approach that because obviously 
they're maybe they're just not that type of player like mental, you guys that'll it's a, get over it. That's yeah. a mental situation that you're gonna have to mm-hmm. yep, pl- deal with with the player. Maybe some uh, some meditation, like some mental aspects to try to overcome that fear because those that's those are just thoughts like coming up you get scared you get anxiety yeah like that's gonna be like a a mental maybe some therapy maybe some talking like what what, what are you afraid of probably like, starts with the parents a lot too like a yeah conversation it just, you have with it's them, the mind think, it's, yeah. it's mindset like you gotta overcome those fears at some point facing them head-on is usually the best way to go about it or maybe it's talking parents are soft maybe eh? it's take them out of of contact hockey and that's okay too what you got to do is fight the dad put him in ringette (laughs) i don't even fight the dad in the whatever you want (laughs) in the lobby (laughs) and then once his his soft kid sees his dad actually squaring up he's like oh man i gotta be more like my buddy let the dad win Uh, let the dad win to build the confidence you you build the fake (laughs) scenario of a fight i think you, <laughs> to I demonstrate think you put to the him kid. in maybe get him into some jiu-jitsu or something like that <laughs> oh yeah karate, fight, yeah boxing teach them literally to fight just yeah. let's get more physical like let that like if we're scared to get physical that's okay but maybe hockey's not your sport because it's a because gla- it's a gladiator sport Sign i'm up sorry it is yeah take, but there's house league no hitting no, no contact there if I mean, if it was a good a couple years in the kid's still a little shy away from the contact i would obviously if have to stay on top of that in the games on the bench. You know, oh, like reiterating, like, it's okay. Like, be, you're going to be fine. You got to no, keep playing. Wow. <laughs> I, I'd be. Oh, is that not what you meant? Before, no, no, <laughs> not like. Just. I, I don't want. I want the, don't want the white glove, like, you know, baby the guy. Mm. I'm going to look him in the eyes and say, I want you to open this shift with some contact. Give me a big hit. You got this inside of you. Like, pump him up. Yeah. Like, like your, your first shift, you're out there. I want you to run into a guy. I want you. Yeah. We're, we're assuming this is it, it's it's contact hockey, obviously, yes, right? Yes, yeah. Well, because at different levels, like I'm teaching my kids, they're, they're uh, U10. Right. I'm telling them, I want you to be nasty, push oh, kids off yeah, the puck. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't go in like this, reaching with your stick. You skate right into their hands. Yeah. Right, and then you push them out of the way and take that. Just puck. dominate. Yeah. Because you can still have contact, but not. You can bump into people. Yeah. You just, you're not aggressive. There's angling. Contact, yeah. You can be aggressive, aggressive right? Aggressive. You can be aggressive. Even so. if there's no contact, like it, the. There's a lot of contact that you can still play, exactly. even if it's not body checking. So we, yeah. I've got a few kids that could be a lot more aggressive, right? So I'm looking at them and say, hey, I want, I want you to go right at a kid. Yeah, here. just go uh, lay like someone out with a cross check. Like, <laughs> go bury a kid. Go get a 10 minute miscon- misconduct for hitting from behind or something like that. I've, I've told Mason, like he got, he got a penalty for, uh, for it was for body contact. Yeah, just running a kid. But, and but he was, he was. Reward set. He was reward upset that behavior because it was his first. <laughs> I can have McDonald's after. Let's take him to McDonald's. You earned it. He was upset in the penalty box. He thought he was gonna get in trouble, right? Because it's his first penalty of the year. And I told him after, I was like, "That was good. That's how I want our team to play. I want you guys to." You're gonna take some penalties. Oh. Like, you were you were a little like, a little too much. So just dial it back. Just about Scott 10%. Stevens, a kid out there, <laughs> just come across. Mace just. Oh. They were both going for the puck, and let's just say Mason won the battle. Yeah, right. That's. Yeah, I don't mind. Like, I'd rather have that, that than him like poking with his stick and letting the guy, other guy take it. Right. Yeah. So yeah, he, you tell him the ref can only call it like, so many times. He's not yeah. gonna call it every time. Wow. Yeah, like, yeah. For me, I was like, I wasn't a big guy, but I just loved it. I just yeah. loved. I loved. You thrived my, in I, it, I thrived yeah. in it. Like I just my all my buddies were bigger than me. We always fought at recess. We body checked each other at recess. Like all day long, it was like body contact with yeah. everything we did. You're a boy's boy, and now you're soccer. a man's man. Soccer was just full contact. Like, yeah, everything, we've talked about that. We've how done. it should be. How it should, how it should be. Everything we did was man, like would I watch trying to hurt each other. As like that's how I grew up. Wouldn't wouldn't soccer be better if you could just mini chest, sticks, full sh- contact through the wall in shoulder, the hotel room, eh? shoulder to chest, oh. soccer. Like a guy's coming down with the ball and someone steps up, boom, just blows him up. Imagine basketball, field. like you could like body check going no. to the paint. Like I mean, imagine, they had imagine sho- you put imagine you had shoulder on. pads. <laughs> like if, if NBA had shoulder pads, you could just drop oh. shoulders on guys. That would, that would be, be pretty, different. Yeah. But I th- I think it would end in a lot of fights. It'd be a lot of fights. It would be unreal. Oh, basketball players have big egos. It would be unreel. Yeah. But I mean. Fighting goes hand in hand with the full like, body contact. I feel like you don't want Shaq with shoulder pads. You don't want Shaq. <laughs> oh no! Right? Or it would be unreal to watch. I'm saying it'd be it must see TV. These guys are just too big to throw body contact. You know what I mean? Like if you're six foot no, eight, it's like if if everyone on the team is six foot NFL eight guys. 
they're throwing body contact that's, that's every that's a good play. Point. They got point. That's yeah, point. I just think it would be exciting to watch. Like, I would love to see that. Like, shoulder. There is a reason on. that football is like the top sport. It's like gladiator mentality, and like hockey has that mentality too. But it's it's a bit more niche. It's on skates. Mm. Yeah, it's on. I mean, it's nice. It's an impressive sport. Like, if you're not used to watching hockey, it's like people that watch it for the first time. It's like. I think football is opening, is a but... top sport because it's easy to watch. You know your games are on Sunday. You just have to watch one a week. It's not. It's a low commitment it's all, sport. Well, it's a simple sport to wor- understand. The games are worth more. There's only it's like you get the ball in the end zone games, and you score. Games. Yeah, you know. But it's also the games are worth more. There's only 17 games. As True. Opposed to yeah. 82. <laughs> 82 or, games is a lot of games. Or 160, whatever they do play in the MLB. Baseball. Yeah. Sometimes they play two in that's a day. I can't even believe yeah. the baseball schedule. Like that's to me is insane. But yeah, the NFL. It's like every game is like. There's only 17 of these of the year. Like, we got to watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You don't want to miss one. Yeah, you don't want to miss one. Easy Remind me before it. the end of the episode, I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about yep. the, like, the World Series. Just, okay. I, I don't want to yeah. get into it right now, but I actually watched every game, and that's I the first time. I did not it's watch crazy. it. Um, I, I'm just closing out that, the, the contact thing. Uh, right. the, the last thing. Oh, okay. You got one more. I got point. one more. Just, All right. I love it. I, I assume there's a few uh, parents that have kids going through this, this True, same issue. Yes. Or coaches. And the last thing I would do as a coach is every practice I'm setting up one drill that starts with what I'm looking for from this kid. And when that mm. when I come to that drill, I'm going to skate up to that kid and I'm going to say, all right, I want you to show me what we're going to do in the game, right? So maybe the first, how you start the drill is with an angle in the boards, throw the, get the puck, and then the drill starts, right? So it's just like a simple, mm. instead of just starting with the puck you on the yeah, you add just this one little Incorporate it into the practice. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to incorporate the compete into the practices. So, you know, you don't just start with the puck. In a game, you just don't get it on your stick, right? Yeah. you got to earn that first. And uh-huh. he could have to do it against the coach just to start. And if he comes in weak, you're like, no, nope, back of the line. Right. Oh, well, back of the line. And then once he comes don't in front hot. Of line. Don't put him in. Don't let him oh, go. Oh, put him in the front. Don't let him go. Uh, yeah. You put him <laughs> Put him on that spot. Back, you know, do it again. And yeah. you got And it's again. front of the line. Front of the line. Yeah, I don't yeah. back a line them. Yeah, it depends on how many kids are in the line, I guess. Because if there's like three or four, I'd say back line, so he has to sit there and wait a little well, bit. And it depends like, on how important this is to getting getting over this true, fear. True. True. Yeah. Like throw uh, just battle drills. I, I was always a big battle drill. Oh, yeah, battle drills you are throw great. Throw the puck in the corner and it's one on one, and it's yep. you go get that thing. Yeah. yeah. And there's no not a better drill. They're they're great. Just compete. Teaching that compete. That's yeah. last practice we ran. That was pretty much every. Drill was a battle drill because I love battle drills. Our our team is going up against every other team has a couple superstars. Mm. Yeah, and we need to shut them down. And we just yeah. are we not need a team full of work those hips, working hard, workhorse players. We need, we need <laughs> Zach Hyman's. We need Brady the the Chucks. We need Matt the Chucks. The Chuck. 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 We need the Chucker. We the need chuck. Chucker. The Chucker. We need a couple Chuckie. Chuckers out there. Chucky. <laughs> Brady and Matthew. I yeah. love that. All right, Chip, did you have anything else to add on that? I think we kind of nailed it. No, I love that. Yep. Yeah, if I was a coach, we'd be running like heavy compete drills. Like, mm. if you want to be on Coach Chip's team, like, contact's not going to be an issue for you. <laughs> right? Like, you will not be getting selected if contact's a. Uh, a problem set the precedent early yeah oh. precedent early like even if it's like you're not a great skater like at least if you're like in the corners and you're just nasty to play against oh i took a kid like, like my, that team my team just gonna once. be nasty kids i, t- I took a kid <laughs> he, just not afraid to take penalties he, like he, he probably like he was the last cut type of kid and there was a kid a little more talented than him but i took him because he was a hard worker right and the next year he was on one team up so he went from like basically the worst kid just on the from team working hard yeah yeah because he was not being afraid he was a dog yeah went that's why you can't corner. teach dog no. like you cannot teach being mm. a dog i said i want that and then and then the year yeah. after that he was the captain of that team because he had he's got the heart right and i saw that I saw that, that kind of answers your questions hey like like yeah. you can't teach this kid <laughs> how to compete like and i say you cannot teach compete you either have it or yeah. you don't and I think like you, your first point of kind of like getting over that mental roadblock any way that like if you're the parent of that kid, you got to understand how your kid works and trying to help, help them get over it. And then they might be able to shift into someone who's not afraid of it and grow. grow he, you know? he can improve. But, he can yeah. improve, but he's not going to go be the from... dog that, but like, yeah, exactly. but then you're playing against people that just love that. And <laughs> yeah. that's like, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you cannot, the kid that just doesn't love it. Versus the kid that loves it. Yeah. It's 
Might yeah. not be cut out. Some yeah. kids just want to go home and knit. Some kids want to go home and knit and play on the consoles. And it's completely fine. Yeah. But some other, kids, other just... kids want to throw that puck in the corner and level yeah. somebody. Some kids just want to go enjoy home. enjoy that and have fun doing that. Organize yeah. their books from Lego. tallest to shortest. <laughs> Lego, right? Yeah. Which is fine. Which is fine. It's it's fine. Right. It wasn't me. All right. I got uh, a draft here for us. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Um, who wants to do it? Before I even say what it is. Mm. I mean, I'll, I'll hop on. Okay, hop you guys can do it. It's hop been a while. Around. I actually had time to prepare, so it's more fair. Exactly, you it's guys more fair. Do. If you yeah. know what it is. Okay, I'll tee it up for us. Yeah. You guys are going to be drafting the best ways to score a goal. Mm. Oh, nice. Okay. And that's that means, like, so what is best best way, like, way, not the best time, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay. It's like you're not you're not saying, like, okay, overtime winner. We've yeah. done that type of thing yeah. before. Yeah. It's the best ways to like score. Like, the most like highly the probable way to score. No, not not even that. Like, the most, like, cool. Type. Oh, cool. cool. Okay, I was yes. thinking. Yeah. Best, yeah. Um, see, I was interpreting this. That's why I'm making it clear. Like, best ways to score, like. That makes you feel the best. best. Yeah. What makes you feel the best. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys rock, paper, scissors for who goes first. I'll keep track of your picks, by the way. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. You got me. Okay. Never goes, goes first. Never scissors. Never scissors or rock. Okay. Best way to score. Um, I'm just going to say just bar down. Ah, oh, that's a good bar one. Bar diesel. Ah, come on. Marshness. Marsh. I like, wanted that so bad. Oh, like I wanted that I, so honestly, bad. Like going bar down is the nastiest <sighs> way to score a goal. Yeah. Like cutting middle and just yeah. ding, and it's just oh, it's so dirty. <laughs> no, it's actually so it dirty to score it's, a bar down goal. It's, like, it's the one. It's the way. It is the way. That, when I when I made so my nasty. list, I'm not giving anything away, but it it was up there. It's I think it's it's just the the only one because there's a lot of ways to score, and you can score them. Into the net or bar down, it always makes it better if it's just, bar down. Yeah, it's whatever just, way it. You know what I mean? That's fair. Yes. Whatever way you could do it, you could also do it bar down. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> and it's that's just like, it's not even exclamation count. mark. It's not even yeah. count. Yeah. That's my pick count because so, like, it's kind of like no, no, it, it counts. No, yes. uh, so if if I had the first, I was gonna say slap shot bar down because it's that little extra of just you clap it and it, it's like yeah, I knew it was going there. Like I actually can aim this slap. Shot. I was you know gonna what say I mean? toe drag release bar down. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Talk it I in. think bar down is just just bar down. Just far down because it covers covers all that. All right, such a good way to score a goal. Yeah. All right, Joe, you know, what's your first? I, I'll just because I was gonna say clap or bar down. I'm gonna say just a solid clap bomb. Okay. Just because because like you're you're going and you just have all that energy, that rage, and you just tee it up. Boom. Yeah. So like clap I mean, is nice. Clap like, bomb, not even a one time or just a clap bomb. I, I could say. I, just no, just a clap bomb, just man. Give me one time. Just give me, just give me clapper. Okay. Just clapper. Because like, there's so many moments. I think you can use it more often. Where I it's love like, scoring. You're, you're screaming across the blue line. A guy's coming right at you. You have no time. The only thing you can do is come in like this, and then you just bah. Oh, you know what man. makes you feel strongly about that too is yeah. that our Aurelia league doesn't let you have so no. Shots. Yeah. And, so you and, just you you cherish it that much more when you play in a league that lets you. And, and last game I had that opportunity and uh, I just like I think I, I hit the goalies. Yeah, you were almost. you were lining up clappers the other night. I I don't think I've taken a slap shot since. It, it was my first one in a while, but I got minor hockey. got it off clean. <laughs> I, I kind of want to bring right. it back out. I love it. Slap shot. N- nothing better than like as a defenseman when you s- when one tr- like you're like kind of like pinching in and one trickles out from the slot. Oh yeah. Just, oh, and you just wind you just it up. Just, one up. It's just waiting there you know, for you. You're like, like oh, oh, I've been waiting my whole season for one to finally trickle out. And to then me. someone gets a stick on it. Yeah, and you're like, like oh, it, they block it. Yeah, it's like, this. but when it goes top shelf and like, oh, it, it yeah, it pops down. It's just kind of spinning a little, and just before you get to it, it settles down. You just... And a little bit of sun shines through the the window and <laughs> the Disney and movie. It, it, it's a little spotlight on it. Yeah. Oh, the fencemen know that feeling when one finally just floats out to you in the. Sl- lot because the, the the forwards are never passing you the puck no, no. <laughs> so one finally tweaks out and you yeah. just and you get too hyped up and you just blast it over yeah. the net or you blast <laughs> it wide yeah. or you hesitate because the the forward the selfish forward is tapping your get stick it. Oh, and yeah. you're like oh maybe i should pass it and you yeah. end up just fluffing it oh no <laughs> no no you just gotta, gotta lean it. into that all right clap bomb from jerry like yeah. that chippy what's your second pick okay best ways to score like mm-hmm. i feel like it's got to be a mesh Oh, Michigan. Michigan. Like the yeah. mish. Has to, like, I've never scored a mish. And if I ever did that in game, I would think I'm the best player in the world. 
<laughs> like, if I scored a Michigan, even in men's league, I would think I'm, like, <laughs> the best player to ever play the game. Like, I don't even know. You already think that. So what would you – what would even? what's the next <laughs> level of that? That's what I'm saying. Like, if I scored a Michigan goal – You would ascend to the stars. Like, I would just – You'd go straight to the show, I think. Think I'm in the show. <laughs> like, if I – like, it's the got to be the nastiest way to score. Like, in-game? Yeah. I can't even do it in practice with a no goalie, so <laughs> – like, I've seen you do it. I know I can do but it. But like not like, but like if I did uh, under it in pressure, game yeah, under yeah. pressure, like that's so nasty. Jared's getting pretty good at it. These kids I are taught like nine it. years old hitting mishies in game. I'm like, this is like if I did that, I would just be like Game's over. Game's just walk over. off. Why do I <laughs> just go to straight anymore? to the bench. Yeah. Like, straight to the dressing room. <laughs> I feel yeah, I guess that's the thing though. For me, it's like I I feel too nervous to try it because if you mess it up like it's a bad look i tried it like four times in one game yeah yeah so it's, close, it's one of those ones where it's like the negative thoughts around it like outweigh the positives of, of attempting it and yeah. really stick it i only tried it four times because i was trying to make a youtube video about yeah. it i would at most try it once a game and even then i'm like ah even if but, like a pocket yeah, like, he tries it all the time yeah i think you're right if you have that confidence that you know you could just stick it it would feel great just full strike How many how many mishies is Z's getting? Is he gonna hit the mish quota this year? Yeah. Beer two per year, yeah. three per year. That's hilarious. All right, Jer. One year he'll just have five goals that all be mishies. Five goals, sixty assists. <laughs> you only score a mishie this year, all right? Only mishies yeah. this year, Zeke's. Yeah. Mishy or uh, alley oop passes. All right, best ways to score. I'm gonna go uh, backhand when you're in tight. There's something nice about it looks like you have no space at all. The goalie thinks he's got you covered, and you just take it to your backhand, and you open that blade, and you just go, top bunk. Yeah, that's nice. And, and like, so a deke. Uh, yeah, but it's like... Backhand deke? It's a bit of a deke, yeah. But it's it's, it's okay. anytime you're in tight, and you have absolutely like no other option. The goalie's got it yeah. the lower it, half covered, yeah. but you snip it up. It, the, it could the be off a deke, or maybe you got forced to your backhand, yeah. and, right? And, and you just... The goalie's like, oh, I got this. The guy thinks you got nothing because you're on your you backhand. Just and you just go under the bottle, and you put it right in the right top bunk. Yeah, and that's, that's so a good so feeling. Filthy. And that you just because because like you have no other option, and you tuck it, and then you glide by, and you know like you feel like just go right in the top, and and you just coasting back, looking back with that smile on your face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Yeah, so yeah. backhand top bunk that in is, tight. That is real nice. I like that a lot. That's a good. That's one. a good feeling. I, a, good a little one. off the board in my in my list, but I I, I support it. I don't I, like I don't it. hate it. I like that. I like that's a great. Like I love that. It's a it's a personal one because I backhand. You do I it a managed, lot. I've managed to get a few. And well, it's, it's like, elevated and tight. It's like yeah. It's just like oh, you could hit the. You pad, need skill to no, do that. You went upstairs. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's that like. Even me, I'm like, I can't believe I put that there. <laughs> you you score it, and you're like, that felt good. I didn't. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, right? Yeah, feels good. Right up 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 in the cupboard. Yeah. Yeah. Top shelf. Uh, <laughs> All right, Chippy. <laughs> number okay. three here. Number three for me. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm just gonna go with a one timer. A one time yeah. bomb. Mm, just yeah. a one time one T. coming across, and you just maybe like top of the circles or like anywhere, like, anywhere, like really. OV style. OV style. Like Matthews has done it a few times on the opposite wing. Just, Willie. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, like, it's it's tough because it's it's like it takes a lot of timing accuracy everything's gotta the pass gotta be over you gotta yeah you gotta adjust to the not pass. An easy way to score and you just rip a bomb yeah i like the it's a timer. dominant way to score for sure i love the one-timer it's a masculine way to blast it <laughs> it is very, very yeah. yeah all right jerry how are you gonna counter that yeah I, I mean you did get clap bomb already so yeah. but there are there is like a one-timer there's like the full clap bomb one-timer but there's also the like snap. the half the yeah, snapper. Yeah, 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 yeah. like a one-timer in general is pretty this pretty dumb i'm gonna go with one that's been a bit of a struggle for me when you find finally... backdoor tapping, <laughs> that's exactly it. Uh, Give me the backdoor. No, way. it's a it's a two on one, and and you're just going full tilt towards the net, right? With your body. I remember you working on that with Hayden. I know because you missed like seven in a dude, row. I don't know what it is. I just can't finish that's it. Hilarious. And it should be the easiest goal. But, but for you, for it's some like reason. If you do it. You're like yes, your finally. Block. I, think, I know I'm trying too hard or something like. <laughs> 
I think it might be because I went to a lower flex stick. Like with an 85, it'll yeah, just bounce yeah, right yeah. off and in. And now I've got too much flex and it's just doing weird things or the blade twist. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, when you connect on that, because it's not just you, like you're, you're giving your buddy a point. You're, yeah, you're like, I, you know I, I mean? if I don't score this, I'm letting my buddy down because you're yeah. both. it was just, an open net. You're both going full <laughs> tilt towards net, stick on the ice, and, and your buddy sends it across. And he has to send it hard because you know the goalie's sliding. And you just got your stick right there and it just goes, Pop off your stick and in, bah, and you both put your hands up and celebrate because right. it, it happened so instantly after you got that pass that it was it was kind of like your simpatico, you know what I mean? Yes. Like the it's email, like, like simpatico. Just, just simpatico. Just it's nice not like you, it, it's it's almost yeah. like it wasn't just you that scored; like you both scored. And you just right. point right away. Yeah, you, you know, you it was just, yeah, like, yeah. You're just like, oh, and it's just like, love finishing those. Yeah. And I don't do it nearly enough. <laughs> I've I've had such a bad you get, feel. You, you create so much opportunity for it. Yes. Yeah. That it it is a regular thing for you. But if you could score every one, think about how much more points you'd have. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the talk of the league. The talk. Of the yeah. League. All right, Chippy. All right, I got one. Um, Number four. Just a nice like tip in like oh a deflection yeah. like a deflection yeah. going wide and you just tip this oh net and you, you you tip you it down like towards tip it net. down and it's yeah. you're just like no way that just happened and you're so hyped because it's because like, the goalie has no chance well it's like and you're just I, my eye hand eye coordination is so dominant that I'm you weren't doing expected this. to score yeah like the puck was coming and you just kind of like oh and then you look back oh why do you just go crazy because you just tipped that thing in and yeah. went. Uh, or you tipped it uh, It's just a nice. It's a good feeling, yeah. Oh, a tip in goal is like. Especially if you, well, for me as a centerman, if I win the drawback, then battle in front of the net and get a deflection goal, it feels good because oh, it's like I, I started and finished this play. Oh, you know, like yeah. Like you're crashing yeah. the net. Yeah. And That's just like out that of is mid-air. nice. Because like you, it's, you, you initiated the opportunity and got in the position. Yeah, to it's like it you're in the corner, you pass up to D, you sk- and then the guy leaves you. You don't have to puck him. He turns around, and then you go right in front of the net. Driving back, yeah. and it's yeah. like, oh, yeah. That's, like, that's a great off your one. Leg. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah a nice tip the, in. The the t- tip in deflection, that was I, next I just, on my list. I met Pavel or uh, Pavelski the other day. Oh, he's a tip in master. ever, so. That's cool. I actually borrowed his son's skates. Really? I didn't have. I didn't bring skates. His, how Chicago. big is his son? You got his, his skates, skates were you? double. Like they were too wide for me, so oh. I, I was in, I was like swimming in these skates. <laughs> Wobbly ankles. I probably out need there. Like, wide like skates, ten years yeah. old. My <laughs> my foot doesn't even fit in his skate. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> but big foot for sure. <laughs> um. All right, Jer. I'm gonna go. This one might be a little too overarching. You can let me know. Um. But give me a good fluke goal. Oh. Okay. Where where it's like you you rim it. And the goalie goes out to, like, you're trying uh, to dump it in. The goalie goes to play it, it b- bounces off the stanchion and goes in. And you put your like, arms up. It's, like so, yeah. it's so unexpected. That, or, yeah. or it's like you just go, you, like, there's there's um, just a, I don't know, you go to flick the puck in and it, like, flicks, bounces once and then goes in. You're like, oh, it's yeah, like that. Those are, those are hype. Or, or you those pretend, like, you go, like, you're going to dump it in and you just fire it on net. Yes. But the goalie's not so, expecting it. Exactly. I, I'm going to give it to you just because. It, it's, it's hard to capture it's an just an unexpected one. behind goal. the yeah. net and you throw one and it hits the goalie's skate. Net yeah, like, exactly. Just give me that unexpected bad one angle where shot. You weren't even trying and it just went in and you're like, holy! Like the whole team is excited. Yeah, about it, right. Especially if it was like to tie the game up or something. Oh know? yeah, and, and you have that feeling going to center, like yeah, boy. <laughs> you know what I <laughs> yeah, mean? Yeah. I like that. I like that too. All right, Chippy, round it out with rounding the last it out one. like yeah. this as a defenseman when you don't score many goals, like. The empty netter, full ice, empty net. Mm. Oh yeah, your yeah. first for ice your first of the season yeah. in game eighty two, <laughs> and you get an empty netter, and you're like, I like it's like the whole team's hype for you because you yeah, haven't scored. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like yeah. the player that hasn't scored a goal all season gets the empty netter. Then you're pumped. Yeah, you're just at the whole bench, just like just fired up. <laughs> the empty, just an empty netter. Like I don't know. Like I love the, it. the empty net is a great way because it's just. Everyone wants that. See, empty I, I have a battling sim- for that empty netter. On my list, I had a similar one. I'll, I'll tell you guys my entire. I made a list of like ten. Yeah. So that if I was drafting, I could make sure I got all like at least one of the ones I had written down. But yeah. Jerry, you got to make your last pick. Then I'll let you know what my list was. I I don't know if this really counts because it's not really a way to score. Maybe it is. You can tell me. But uh, the penalty shot. Is that or is that like a tight? It's not because it's not really like a bar down. No one's picked breakaway, breakaway yet. Like, yeah. So like I just call it. Yeah, you could breakaway. get like a breakaway. Or, it, or you, you want, want like think, a penalty shot? Like I think penalty time. shot is kind of better because it's like everything stops and everyone's looking at you and they're all like, right. will he or won't he? 
it's like a true. Like, so it doesn't matter moment. how you score on it. It's, it it's not a shot, sh- a deke. It's just the it, the it, moment. And it's not the shootout either because the shootout is different. But the penalty shot down is down like, like time. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's the time. It, I'd say a penalty shot is the best time to score. Yeah, you're right. Because yeah, it's like okay. What, like, what move? I won't in take that it. Yeah, shot are you doing? Yeah, yeah. okay. So I won't take drafting. it. But like, I'd give you breakaway as one. Right. Because like that is an actual way. My empty netter is kind of similar. Fair, fair. I guess it is kind of time. I don't know. It's up like to you too. Bar down, like bar opponent. down, empty netter. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give you penalty shot. I don't. I think it's fair. Like it's it's not that far off. Like, I mean, or what does feel better though? Because is it the penalty shot or the, or the breakaway? You know, I'll, I'll take the breakaway because it is more hype. Up. Like, breakaway is hype. You're you had to work you and to spring you like you got yeah, like this nasty. You can't do a uh, Kuznetsov and just oh. coast on. Breakaway's, the side. breakaway's <laughs> way better. Yeah, I'll take the breakaway. You're like okay. everyone. Breakaway. Like you had to. Like you're given the penalty shot, whereas like. Yeah. The breakaway, like everyone's. The playing. energy has been building. Yeah, building. Like everyone on the bench skating is skating after like, you. People are skating after more you. More pressure. Like, yeah, yeah. It's a breakaway. It's yeah. a breakaway. For okay. Sure. Right, I like give, that. give me a breakaway. All right. I love that. Um, it's funny. I think I had a, quite a few that you guys. Didn't I, I could play. rhyme off. I could, a, there's I a bunch. Rhyme yeah. off I, I could rhyme off a bunch, but I'm like, I, I kind of like, as far as how it feels, like a, a between the legs goal is cool, but it's a little showboaty. And like I would just rather just clap one home as like an explanation yeah, like mark, ex- right. explanation mark, Expl- <laughs> exclamation, yeah, like five hole, yeah. like yeah, score five okay. hole, whatever. I'll give you guys these the one, one hand. Like there's I all would... kinds of deeks he can do, right? But yeah, there's lots of different deeks. I just my top one was actually like walking the entire team, like oh like yeah, style. yeah, okay, like yeah. you just you go through the entire team and score, like, yeah, end to end type, end to end like Bobby Orr type. Yeah, thing. the yeah. cool yeah. thing about those is that each move you pull makes it more likely you're actually going to score if you deke out one guy the odds go up like you, <laughs> you got one less you've got that right and then you deke out or the you could be team with solani like, and just keep deking through the momentum, same people it's like, so that's like, what i'm saying it's like confidence builds every ju- move you're like oh this guy exactly this guy right. once <laughs> once you're past two you can't be stopped mm. and then like don't even bother to go at the guy because you're just going to make him even better ne- the next guy slides at you like you chip it right over jump over him now the goalie's cooked right like yeah now if, you're if just he just to walk went the tender dude. exactly <laughs> there is no way a goalie is going to stop someone who just just absolutely cooked three people on that team it just the aura is too strong. That was me right? when I was, like, younger. Yeah. It was, like, you walk two guys, and I have full speed, and now I'm attacking this. It's game, game over, boys. I'm it's just going to split the D. It's, like, it, it's so true. Like, when you make, like, especially as a defenseman, I, I would take it for a rush. Mm. If I got around that first player, mm-hmm. second player, yeah. it, it, now I'm just flying yeah. up <laughs> that wing, cutting across. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're so you, right. You gain momentum. Yeah. You just like, have that, like, look in your eyes, and the goalie's like, Even oh, in men's league, I'll get around scared. one guy, yeah. two guy, and I'm just absolutely yeah. flying and, now. And the goalie's scared. Like, you got the scared, advantage. And you got it's the like, advantage. He saw what you just did to those you're people. Like, yeah, the goalie's yeah, like, I can't believe he made it through all my defensemen. What's going on? Uh, no, I don't one know. One more guy left. I'm going to jump out of the net. Yeah. That's what it looks like sometimes. Like when McDavid does that, he's just stick handling, stick handling, and the goalie's like, boom, and he's like, oh, empty net. Thank yeah, you. That is so true. nasty. Yeah. All right, I'm going to rhyme through the, the rest yeah. that I had. Yeah, yeah. Let's see I had bar down snipe second. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then I had a flashy move on a breakaway. Oh, like, cause, yeah. You know, like you, it's like the breakaway is cool, but if you make a nice move, then it's even better. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like you could kind of combine Jer's like backhand. Yeah, himself. like Jer could kind of had that covered with two bottle. of them. I, I would have oh, given. You didn't hit the bottle pop. Oh, the bottle geez. Pop. Well, I kind of gave you the bottle pop on that backhand. I yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Fair, right. yeah. You go top bunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pop, we'll put, so I, I went top shelf. The bottle was right there. The <laughs> there, yeah. there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bottle pop. Um, I had a bad angle snipe. Oh yeah, those are nice. Corner, you know, like yeah, that's a good one. Are, yeah, those are nice. Um, you're just on the goal line. You just lean out a little bit. Like their goalie's not expecting you to sh- yeah. score from there. I kind of gave it. Jer that. I said like a bad angle, like fl- the fluke one, like when you're oh, like yeah. a bad angle rip. Yeah, but yeah, like a top shelf from a bad angle, like yeah, like those backhands. Some of the like, like the t- bad angle snipe is like you knew what you were doing. Yeah, you expected it to go in, but yeah. no one else short expected side. It. Like yeah. Ka- Kaner comes and he's like he he does a backhand from like the goal line and it goes in. You're like wow, wow. yeah, right off the goalie's head. Like that's him, like, yeah, that's dominant. That's wild, so, yeah. yeah, um, I had one on one, like you embarrass the guy. Like, yeah, that's mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. Get clean around him. Yeah. Score, yeah. however, it's like score. Like with the defense with lagging. I, I hate watching those ones from the bench. Um, then I had one timer <laughs> deflection. So you you guys had those yeah. covered. I had a goalie goal as like a question mark. Yeah. Because yeah, that's, I, that's I, hype. Like it's, it's not even, like as a goalie, it's like, 
that'd be the best, greatest part of the whole season, yes. if not your life. It you came know? into my, like, I thought about picking it, but I was like, I'm not a goalie, so yeah. I can't really. Um, then I had shot through tra- traffic, like you thread the needle. As oh, a you know, the like, needle yeah, threader. Yeah. Yeah. Needle threader, yeah. yeah. Um, then a net front fun. battle, like a garbage goal, like, because you just worked hard for it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Especially like when that. it's a big goal, like yes. you, you bang it in, you know, yeah. like that always feels good. And then. I kind of alluded to this on one of I think Chippy's picks was the off the face off like with little timer. Oh, I forgot about that. You know, yeah, like, like you you tie the game up when there's four seconds left on the clock off the yeah. face off. Yes, that's so those were that was my list. Have you done that? Scored off the face off? Um, when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. same. In like, or, or I was center and I won it back. I did one. I did one in men's league last year. Tape just one or eight two. I mean, I just had a one t top shot. Oh, those. Yeah, uh, Hayden set it up for me. He's like, he, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna win this back to you. Stand right here. It's all right. Wins it back. Boom. Oh, I think it we... took twice. It yeah. Was the first time, first the goalie one... saved it, deflected yeah. out. Then I'm like, let's do it again. And then he scored. Yeah, but... I think we got it on YouTube. We do. Yeah. yeah. I f- I th- it was one of her first old paint cans videos. I just let her rip. Yeah. Let her fly. Yeah. yeah. But no, like, really I mean, right when the puck drops, you just shoot it off the face. Oh, those are funny. Is that dude. what you were talking about? Well, no, I just meant like it's a, you executed perfectly ah, off I the see. face off, but I did think of shooting it directly. It's just I've never actually done that. I, I did it. I've got shots on net, but never scored. I did it because I've I, never s- done that. I, don't, I did it in like probably Pee Wee, so I was like uh, maybe was it 11 or 12 years old oh, or something. Okay. So the goal, I just wasn't good. Well, it, I saw it on uh, Rock'em Sock'em. Like, you were on Rock'em Sock'em? No, I, no, I just I saw it. I should have been. <laughs> no, I saw it. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw it. I was like, whoa, you can shoot off the face off? I was like, that's kind of I cool. try it probably like once a game. Because there's times when the ref is dropping it and the goalie isn't quite set, and I can see yeah. his stick isn't down. Yeah. So I fire it, and like I've almost like this year alone, I've almost scored like a couple times on it because the goalie just yeah. got a piece of it with his pad. But what what I do is uh, just before the puck drops, I go, "Who is that?" And then the <laughs> goalie, and then pop, and he pop it in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, did that just go in? <laughs> and you shoot it, so you say it in reverse. <laughs> is the Zamboni on fire? Yeah. Right? And then you turn, whoa, what? And yeah. then you just pop it right off the face. Off. Only yeah, problem is nice. our refs would look too. They'd yeah. Look, drop the puck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. yeah. All right. Um, I wanted to uh, just kind of ask you guys what has been going on with you guys lately. What are you most excited about that's been going on? Oh, jeez. I know that Jer's been doing some um, yard work related yeah. backyard yeah. rink stuff. Uh, Chippy, you've just been busy. I don't I like what. What are you excited about? You want me to start? You want I'll, to go, I'll go fa- first. Yeah, I'll you, go first. you go quick. You go okay. first. <laughs> uh, number one, obviously excited about the winter coming backyard rink season. ODR is it season. coming because uh, that's I know it's so warm. What is it November seventh? It's sunbathing weather. I'm con- degrees out. I'm yeah. considering just packing up my outdoor rink and just listing it for sale. I'm like, <laughs> I, it, it might not freeze. I'm worried. I am this worried. is. Yeah. I've never seen. Hopeful. November like this before. Got to no. mo- get a, a place up north just it's to be nuts. able to. Yeah. Have a... <laughs> it's nuts. But I'm hoping that this isn't a trend because usually it's like you get a bad winter and then you it, get it. It evens up. Right? Usually. It sh- I'm waiting for it to swing the other way and we have a nice cold winter because mm-hmm. the last two or three have been pretty dismal. It did yeah. snow the other day. I, there was a, some snow. A little bit. A little. But like, what's obviously that? didn't accumulate. No, it didn't. No, it was. Because it was 20 degrees yeah. like two days ago. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. One more bad winter and I'm just going to get a full on chiller in the on the rink. So yeah. When are you getting the chiller? Skate in November. When are we yeah. investing in the chiller? I'm going to. You know what? How much is a chiller? I almost got a whole set for 30 grand. That's for the boards, the chiller, the pipes that go underneath. Oh. Like a whole rink. Worth it. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, uh, it wouldn't fit in the front though? yard. It wouldn't fit in the front yard. <laughs> you could just get rid of your driveway. Just put yeah, it yeah. across the whole the whole front. And the neighbors won't mind if it goes if a little bit. you just park across the yeah. road, it's fine. Yeah. The neighbors won't mind if it goes a little bit on each of their properties. You can set the floodlight yeah. so it goes in their front window so they don't yeah. even have to have lights chair. in their kitchen. And if it's like a foot or two onto the road, <laughs> the cars can go around. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Car, car. <laughs> yeah, but if I had a farm, I think I probably would have gone down that path already because, uh, yeah, gotta, gotta shoot video somewhere, right? Yeah. yeah. But and, you're, so obviously you're looking forward for yeah, winter. Winter's big. What specifically? Uh, what are you? I've, I've been finishing up a bunch of projects. So I, I ran hot water, dug a trench, put a pipe down to the rink so I can flood with hot water nice and easily. I don't have to run the hose. So I'm going to spoil myself this winter. Have even easier time uh, making I, that ice perfect. Can I? We were talking about this the other day. About my hole? <laughs> no. Oh. Well, yeah, we talked about that too, but no. Yeah. Um, Jer puts hot water down to the hockey rink so that he can make a skating trail easier to where we've where we've done it in the past so we can get down to the rink and have hot water easily. 
now he's going to go even further into the woods. <laughs> so, he, yeah. So he's just going to keep having to run hot water further and further. <laughs> I was sick of running 200 feet of hose down to the rink. So now I put a faucet down there. So now I can run 200 feet of hose out into the woods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just. That exactly. Works. Yeah. That works. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So I've been doing a lot of hard work digging holes. I had to dig a hole that was eight feet deep. To get this pipe down there, because and he chose to use a plastic shovel to do it. No, yeah, I imagine. borrowed the my kid's uh, shovel to get her down there. It's all sand, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, so that's fun. I built all a bunch of chairs that have been sitting in my woods for like uh, two years. Mm-hmm. So we have good proper seating down at the hockey rink. Uh, what else? And I think I might put an outdoor shower down there now that I got the water, so I can I, have it next oh, to the sauna. That's, that's right. Cool. So you sauna, and you get too hot, you throw on the water and douse yourself in the cold water and back right. in the sauna. So I think I might set that up. Uh, That's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty much just trying to get this all done while the weather's nice and not delay it for one more year. Because all these all these projects I'm doing now, I started basically a year and a half ago. Yes, and I'm now finishing them now because I'm like I can't. In typical husband fashion, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Which and, and what's what's the one thing you're most excited for this winter? Right now, going to Dubai. Oh, actually Abu Dhabi, what? which when is close. That? That's in cool. like five days. Oh, sweet. What? We're, we're leaving real soon. How did I know this? <laughs> in, How did I, I tell you? Yeah, no one knows. <laughs> no, one. no podcast next week, guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, guess it's just me and Chippy. I'll yeah. tune in from the desert. <laughs> well, how long <laughs> gone for? That's a far. I think it's like a six day trip. Oh, well, that's yeah. What's uh, the time uh, difference over there? Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. So when is it's like it... when it's two o'clock here, it's like midnight there. Is oh, it with a brand? Geez. Yeah. So visit Abu Dhabi is the okay. tourism company. Oh, I got okay. us to do that too. Oh yeah. Chippy's on the flight. Sure. But it's pretty crazy. It's, it's cool. There's a hockey rink there. I'm going to go find it. That's sick. <laughs> go search there. <laughs> I, I couldn't find a hockey rink here in Ontario, so I went to Abu Dhabi. It's, isn't that, Ice uh, time how is so. How far is that flight? Yeah. It's like a 14 hour flight. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah, that is. But in, in, in all honesty, just like Hayden said, it is so hard to find ice time here that it's like it's cheaper just to fly to <laughs> Abu Dhabi and get a few skates in there and then come back. Yeah. Bringing your skates? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to bring my skates. I'll, I'll grab the rentals. Yeah. I don't even know if I'll skate. Just I, just go find it for I, the I sake might just of grab, Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to grab an Uber. Do they have and, like, a, just like a package you got to do, like a yeah. video? Well, the thing is, so it's, so it's a family thing. They're bringing the whole family. Yeah. Uh, we're all flying on a private jet. No, uh, <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. There was about probably half the people listening that just believed you. Like, you could have just kept going. <laughs> I could have. They, they didn't see the look in my eyes of like, yeah. Oh, huh? I'll find on a private PJ. No, I'm, I'm not uh, Chris Hemsworth yet. You know, <laughs> not at that level. But just, just, I just have to fly commercial to Abu Dhabi. Oh. <laughs> I know. I, please, everyone, feel sorry First for me. First class or? No, no. Because we got five kids, it gets expensive uh, for. Mm. Yeah. Fair. But yeah, uh, so it's the flight there, and then they set us up. They gave us a ton of like events or or like uh, things that we can go and do. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Like, so they've got a Universal Studios or like Warner Brothers Studios or something like that, like sort of like Disneyland type yeah, thing, like a family thing yep. to go to. They yeah. have a crazy water park. Oh, crazy I bet, water yeah. park that we're gonna go to. We've got have like you a, looked at what the weather's gonna be like. Yeah, like five hundred degrees each day. <laughs> no way. Uh, Jeez. It's hot, eh? Yeah, shocker. It's hot in the desert. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be warm. You're going to come back, and it's going to be finally winter here, hopefully. So here's the thing. I didn't want to go in November Mm -hmm. because it's hockey season. Fair, yeah. Hockey parents can't take vacations because Mason might miss one practice. Yeah. And the U10 team needs him. Yeah. At practice. Who's going to who's gonna run the gauntlet? Maybe I know, right? <laughs> oh, it, it is crazy, though. Like, we, we got some pushback from uh, Olivia's team that we're, we're, we're going to miss vacation. a few practices. Well, because she made the rep team. Yeah, she's on the rep team. We should talk about that in another A little episode. more serious, oh, right? Pushback? But, but she's seven years old, so I'm like, can we please go on vacation? Like, <laughs> yeah. come on. Uh-huh. The team will be all right. Yeah. But I understand. It's I'll bring her home. No way you stuff. got pushback. Just a little. Just a little. No way. She's oh, seven. That's my, that's my next video. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I really motivated Chip. Yeah. I actually, actually, I actually thought about doing like basically that. That's fun. I think thing. we're plan a vacation here or yeah. in the winter. Uh, uh, Are you no. nuts? Well, wh- wh- when do you want to go? Because like October, it's like well September is tryouts, so we can't do September. You thinking like? Well, we don't have a game this week. At- oh, that's because we have a tournament though. Yeah, yeah then it's we're like sit- sitting, October. Sitting down with the coach. <laughs> You guys, you guys wanted to go, go on, on vacation, so you're not committed to our team. <laughs> oh, well, we, well, when he gets back, don't expect him to be playing next uh, 
five games. Yeah, you miss a practice, he misses missing, a game. You're missing, yeah, you miss a game. Yeah, you miss a practice, you miss the equal amount of games. So we have five practices while you're gone on vacation. <laughs> so Max will have to miss five games yep. if you guys leave. I... I Oh, you guys want to go on vacation and have a good time? And, and yeah, learn. I hope you have a good time. Yeah. I hope have you have a great time, guys. Hope you enjoy telling Max that he's not going to play the next five games. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. With a little bit of sass. <laughs> I know. I was I was thinking of doing a little skit where it's like uh, me and Sammy planning a trip. Yeah. Oh, we need to go on vacation. Well, just Sammy, it's it's September. It's it's tryouts. Yeah. Well, what about October? So when the season starts, we can't miss the start of the season. No, no November then. Sammy, then we're in full swing. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, let's go in December. Sammy, it's hockey, December, January, off the march. Well, everyone else is going yeah, on yeah, vacation. We, we in September. A, tournament in December. December. Well, we classic. can't miss the, the Christmas classic tourney. <laughs> what, what about January? Well, no, because then we're gearing up for playoffs. February? <laughs> that's full on playoffs. February, March is the playoffs. Okay, what about April? Well, no, because then you have the spring spring training. Like, he's got to get his dry land, right? His off yeah, race. He, he's got to gear. He has the, the, the spring hockey. What about May and June? Well, no, then it's spring, summer hockey. He's playing on Regional Express Gold this year, so you won't be able to. <laughs> we've we've got a tournament every every weekend, June and July. Every so month that he's ready year. and he's playing up a year, so he can be prepared for the next season. The trick okay. is you just plan the getaway during a hockey tournament, <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, August then. August. August is the last month. Let's go in August, Sammy. That's when the pre skates are. <laughs> he, he's got a. He, he gets hockey camp season. Well, he he's got hockey camp. You know what? For <laughs> vacation at the rink. <laughs> you know, honey, a honey, staycation. There's a tournament in November. The whole team's going to Buffalo. I'm gonna upgrade the room. <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade the room. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna get the. We're gonna stay an extra day. It's funny. We're gonna go I a day stay an extra extra day in Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. I just filmed a extra day in legit Buffalo. like something yesterday to do with uh. Uh, your vacation at the rink. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's funny. That's good. That's, yeah, I can't announce. It's, I can't announce what it is mm, yet, but I like it. It's coming. It's gonna connect. Yeah, it's I've, gonna I've, connect the dots. Yeah. I've yeah. Got, so, uh, Jared, are Dubai. You, Dubai, Dubai is, is what you're most looking. Thing. Yeah, I'm yeah. for that. It's gonna be fun. That sounds pretty yeah, that's, exciting. Yeah. That's the big deal. Kids will be interest. Like that'll be interesting with the kids on a 14 hour flight. But once you get it's there, it's I'm... gonna be a, a, probably a nightmare. Because like <laughs> and the and the sleeping like by here's the thing by time they adjust we're gonna be coming back. Right. And then they're going to be a nightmare for the next what's the, three what's days. What's the time difference? So uh, when it's 2 p.m. here, it's midnight there. It's like 12 hours, something so around there. 10 hours. It's not obviously yeah. I didn't do uh, the math. Right. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's like 10 hours. 10 hour time difference. Ten ahead. Hour difference. So, Ooh, but you're, you're also so you lose flying 10. ahead. So you lose 10. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, when they should be going to sleep, they're going to be wide awake. Yeah. Like they won't get tired until basically, like, we'll say... 5 a.m. their time. Just give them some like, gravel. I feel like six days isn't like a ton of time. It's not a lot. Like it's adju- not a lot. The first day you're like adjusting and then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's going to be. It's, as an adult, you can kind of just grind it out. You can. But, but as a, with the kids. Kids do not have the emotional regulation. Yeah. There's going to be some ass dragging <laughs> and some cranky. Like yeah. Mason is going to be so short. Like he gets this way if, he can't, if he's too tired. Everything is a problem. What foods uh-huh. are you going to eat over there? <sighs> Do they have like the food? I don't know for you. I don't. I haven't really seen this. Stay tuned to his, his Instagram. I, yeah, I got <laughs> I got to post like nine thousand <laughs> stories on IG. Yeah. So, so stay tuned on the IG. I, I will be. Trip. I'll be tuned in. Yeah. It, sure. it actually is going to be pretty sweet. Like That's I, awesome. I'm, I'm excited for it. Like uh, a free vacation for the family. I couldn't say no. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. And it, Somewhere you're probably not going to go unless unless that. Yeah, I want to go there. I want to. I would not dare a 14 hour flight with the family. Even going to Hawaii is like. Ah, it's but you're going back, so it's all right, because you just wake up at 5 a.m. Right. Like, oh, I feel like I'm seizing the day. True, yeah. Right? Yes. It actually doesn't hurt too bad, but mm-hmm. that'll be fun. Yeah. All right, Chippy, what about you? What are you most excited for? What have you been up to? I've been in the airport every week for the last, like, Yeah, you have. Like, yeah. Two, three months, it feels like. Jeez. Yeah. Like, been everywhere. Living so. to travel. Yeah, so, like, I, like right now, I'm just kind of resetting. Hot mm-hmm. commodity. Mentally, like, getting yeah. back into the gym. Like, I journaled today. Beauty. Right. Like, just, like, a full-on reset. You kind of need it, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. When you get on the road and you, like, just start, like, eating out every meal. Mm. So, do you get excited to come back from the busyness to kind of Not regroup? even, because you go from, like, this, like, high, and then you get home, and you're, like, low. Oh. And then it's, like... Right, so it's kind of a opposite. Yeah, and then... I don't even know. So I get, I get that, yeah. It's kind of weird. It's like you go from this like crazy like 
busy. Know, everything's I was, I was happening. At like a tournament, like two hundred by eighty five. There's like right. two thousand kids, uh, and you're like, I saw all of you. You were going into like all these dressing rooms. Yeah, we did like dressing yeah. room, like mini sticks, and then it's like you get back home and you're like whoa what the heck just happened like i went from this like crazy right. high stimulus to like Ugh. just low and then it's like then then and then you finally kind of recover from like the jet lag airport and then it's like oh i'm in the airport in two, day, in two days yeah, and yeah, then yeah. i've been kind of in that cycle which is dope like just traveling a lot is awesome mm-hmm. but what does that do to the brain yeah you, i don't know you really are going like extreme highs and then like just pure like just me and myself. Yeah, home. it's it's kind of yeah. I'll make some scrambled eggs. <laughs> you go from like yeah, these like just like high highs to like low lows, and it's like. I guess you can kind of live those those highs again though, because you have so much content from when you're doing that that you need yeah. to post it and like edit it, or like you have hmm. ideas that came up when you're visiting with other oh, creators. Yeah. So then you have time to kind of dedicate to like thinking what you want to do. And if you post but, something that you did. And it does really well. Then you get that dopamine hit of like, yeah, this content's doing well. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like I've been in that cycle a little bit where right. it's just like, oh, it's, it's but like. Then it's like I don't get to like create what I want to create. Like, yeah, I'm, you're do, you're working on other people's. Yeah, schedule you know what I mean. Yeah. That's kind of what you're doing. And then, so I've been, I think I'm in a reset where I really wanted to start like focusing on, yeah, like my content and making right cool stuff and. Mm-hmm. stuff that i enjoy making and yeah i definitely want to get into streaming more well, like, those ones feel the best live streaming like right um <laughs> so like that's uh, been that's been definitely a goal of mine and just getting more organized like i feel like that's been something on this podcast we've talked a lot about my organization yeah, skills it's but <laughs> it's yeah definitely just need to make a, an adjustment there and right i had a uh a, what do you call it a, a coaching clinic i had to do it was online it was like four hours so I was up here for four hours and I'm just like, okay, I am just going to have it running and I'm just going to like go and organize stuff and get rid of some stuff, move some things around. So I didn't do a full, like, because I had to go back to it, but it felt good to be like, productive yes. while you're oh, doing yeah. something. Yeah. Pick up all these little things that I've been looking at for like three months and I'm yeah. like, that doesn't go there. Let's put it where it should go. Right. Let's put all the cords away. Let's, yeah, like get, get rid of some of the stuff. Cleaning up it, your space a little yes, bit. Yes, just organizing the space and getting rid of stuff. I didn't uh, complete the job, but it did feel good, that's for sure. Yeah, that's right. kind of where I'm at right now. Just like kind of cleaning up my space, cleaning up, yep. going to the gym again, like yep. drinking that's water, kinda, like you making said, that's, food. That's like giving your head a mental reset. Right. But like you said, that you're not necessarily excited about that oh. i'm curious what what's what's coming up that you're the most excited for i'm excited to like sell i guess your own content sell you're out your own. merch <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, i haven't even been like focused on on yeah there's like a couple cool projects i've been working on uh, yeah for the past little bit there's like there's cool something dropping in like december nice um which is pretty cool christmas is coming is that is that Hmm? Yeah, like Christmas? I, Christmas is coming. I think yeah, so I think it'd be around December, like mid December or something like that. But I've been working on that. Is it like long this... form content or product? What it, what? Kind yeah, of it's like is... uh, it's stuff. It's a product. Oh, nice. Um, that's. I guess you can't reveal too much. Can't right reveal. Yeah. I can't reveal it yet. But um, yeah, that'll be cool. That'll definitely be cool. But yeah, just like there's been a lot of things I've been yeah wanting to get flowing like a lot of things up in your toes and a little like, yeah like a lot building yeah. a lot of things like I, I, yeah. I have like ideas to build a lot of cool stuff and i think getting myself organized will allow that stuff to be built easier ah. and then i also just want to yeah like focus on making cool content i feel right. like getting back to like why i started which was just creating every day it seems like every time you go on these long trips you're you're like aggressively building blocks up yeah. Without filling in the gaps of the foundation of like your mental preparedness for it. Yes. So then when you have these times, you can kind of go put the mortar in between all those bricks and make it, you keep building up higher. You, you need yeah. the balance between like other people time and then me time. Yeah. Right. So you've been doing things for other people. Yeah. And then that's like, it's been pulling you too much and now you need chippy time. Yeah, exactly. Right. Focus on and you just me. you just like meet so many people in this space and like there's uh, so many connections and yeah. there's so many opportunities and it's like how do you choose how do you choose yeah. which one to give your energy to and then you almost then spread yourself too thin everywhere and you're like oh yeah I want to do this that that but then I want to do my own thing yeah I feel like that's a little bit 
um well this podcast well. is an example of that yeah, it's yeah. Like, i want to give energy to it but yeah. it's like i like i just if you're nine in a different country things i'm doing different country or yeah. uh, um your meetings and then it's like um yeah it's just the nature of just you know growing a business balance growing. it's all about finding balance yeah finding yeah. yeah highs like that's what i mean like being more even even flow a little bit more and like journaling right. and grounded and getting my energy and being less um what's the word uh, sporadic what, uh, it's just less mind clutter yeah mm. where it's like i'm just like worried about things for no reason that doesn't yeah. help anything uh, and doesn't distracted help. You're, you're just like thinking. congestion yeah. mental congestion it's yeah like just let your let your thoughts kind of go just and don't think just flow legit just, yeah and be more and when you're creating that's when on the bat that like you're just creating and right. um you're not thinking but then that that creation is chaos and then okay i want to organize so i need to like just so there's a little it's both a, it's a balance beam you know yes. yeah yeah all right, I love that for you. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for sharing what you guys are up to. What are you um, up to, Hayden? What do you? What are I've you just been. For? I've just been trying to get you guys in for a podcast. Not. <laughs> well, we're here. <laughs> yeah, you're here, we're and here I love now, it. And there's only now, and the only it's, moments now. Yeah. No, I've been. Uh, I've been trying to help Jer get more YouTube videos out. I've been really focusing on that because I feel like that's somewhere where I can do more. November and December. We have like six videos that, that haven't been uploaded all because I just, I can't do it by myself. Yeah. So I'm trying to plan stuff that I can film with Jeremy and they can be on his channel or even I could make some videos, but be able to upload them without needing Jeremy to like actually make it a, a story. Yeah. The, it's like we film so much random stuff that does it doesn't really tell a story and you need like to narrate it. Yeah. yeah. That like we, I can edit it all, but it's, it needs that final like two and a half hours to finish at least, you know. Yes. But I'm trying to do a bit more kind of planning for him in that sense. Yeah, the there, YouTube's cool. Ba basically, the process is, you know, we'll film something, we have an idea, or sometimes we just film something. I don't know. We'll figure it out after. That's a lot of what happens, especially when it's something that I didn't know we were doing. Yeah, yeah. Because you just thought of it. Well, just get the camera, Hayden. Get the <laughs> yeah, camera. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so so Hayden will take it from uh, three hours worth of footage down to like 20 minutes mm -hmm. and then I'll sit and look at the 20 minutes like okay I need to turn this into like 12 minutes and yes. and and that's gonna take and then add the music and sound effects and maybe some voice over here and there well, a lot of a lot of what happens too is I'll I'll take that full footage and I could take it down to 12 minutes with music and everything but in order to get it down to that 12 minutes I need Jeremy to explain something yeah which will take him 15 seconds to voice over yeah. But that he doesn't he doesn't have the mental capacity that, like space yeah. to, to take well, the time to get in the mindset of what do I want to say here? Some yeah. Yeah. sometimes it's like, it does seem that simple, but like I'll just like watch it through. And I'm like, ah, I'm just not feeling this. Like, it's, I just don't know. You, like, yeah, you it's, need... it's not. Yeah. What I so I, sometimes I'll, I'll watch it and he's like, yeah, I just need a voiceover from you. I'm like, yeah, OK. But then like I have to sit and drive and think about it and like yeah, I'm, I'm before I go to sleep I'm thinking about it yeah. then I need to watch it again I'm like oh what about this start moving some pieces around I'm like oh I need one more shot here maybe like some b-roll here and then I'm like oh this is what should we do so it might take like a week before I have like the idea that's really going to make that or take that from like an okay video to like oh that's a we need like a strong open like there's just something missing yeah. I don't feel the video so I need that idea to come to me before I get inspired to finish the video off. So my job lately has basically been, let's make videos where I can paint the picture clearly yeah. for Jeremy so we can film it and, and it be mostly done. It with, can, yeah. yeah, basically Hayden can, we can record it and Hayden can just edit the whole thing and, and upload it. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll just I'll look it over and be like, yep, that's a good video. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Good planning, I guess. Like you said, just organizing. Yeah. So that's been a lot of my focus, at least, at least when I'm well, here. And then outside of work, I've just been helping plan a wedding. Yeah, you got that wedding next summer. Um, I honestly haven't had to do too much, which is great, but I, I provide input and help when I can. That's nice. Um, I got an engagement party coming up. Damn, when's that? Um, November 30th. Yeah. 30th. I'm pretty sure, Jerry, you already have it in your calendar. <laughs> I do. I do. I put it in there Good. long ago. Yeah. just got to double check to make sure the, the date hasn't changed. <laughs> yeah. Right See, there. that's something I need to get going on is a Ca calendar. Yeah. I don't have one. You probably should. Isn't that bad? It's crazy <laughs> bad that I don't have a calendar. Hayden, impeccable planning here. So Mason's got a game at noon. Olivia's got a game at 2.30. And then Hayden's got 
his uh, engagement party at seven. I'm not going to miss anything. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. I love That's it. Amazing. It's great. Um, before we wrap up, I wanted to talk a little bit about Leafs. All right. How the Leafs are doing? Because oh, yeah, there's do it's 14 games in. Um, their record is a little above 500 now. Seven, four, and one. No, no, it's like seven, five six, and, and two, or something like that. Okay. Or, or, oh wait, no, not six. Seven, four, and two. I think. Seven, five, and two. I think maybe. Yeah, I don't know. They're four, 14 games in. They've won seven games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, yes, yes so like and lost two in overtime. Um, and shocker, they'll get absolutely spanked by like Columbus. And then come out and just completely dominate, like Tampa and Boston. Yeah, Boston hasn't been playing very well, but no. that, but, but that doesn't mean anything. Everyone expected Boston to still beat the Leafs, even though they're not playing. Yeah. Well. Oh, you know? oh yeah, and and what else? They ended Winnipeg, the most dominant team in the league at the time. They're winning streak. And yeah. and a winning <laughs> streak. Twelve and one. They're, they're twelve and one, and their one is against the Leafs. Yeah. And, and of course, they'll just like look like a pee wee team again. Lay, lay an Thomas. egg twice against uh, the Blues. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bar- Bar- oh, against Baru based former the team. games that everyone's like expecting them to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's let's beat the Baru based former team. Yeah. No. Nah, nah. Um. So I had a, I have a couple thoughts on the Leafs, and I want to. Well, actually, I want to hear thirty two. Thirty two. No, I, I don't have thirty. Welcome to I'm coaches. Not, I'm not Elliot, Elliot Friedman. I'm what? just stealing everyone else's names. <laughs> no. Um. I just think that from what I've like, because I've watched their like every game. Um. It kind of seems like they're. I actually like their their playing style so far this year. Like it seems like their their emphasis is less on possession, yeah, which like it has always been as, puck, the, yeah. for as long as I can remember. And since Matthews joined the team, like every coach, like Babcock was all about possession time. Keith kind of kept that going. It's like if we have the puck, we're doing good. And it's like every time they lose, it's like well they deserve to win. They have the deserve to win meter thing or whatever. It's like because they had the puck the whole time. I'm like, yeah, but they're not driving the play to the net. They're not winning the board battles. It seems like their team mentality that Barube is kind of pushing on them. And guys like Marner, Nylander, Matthews, they're buying in to that mentality. Pacioretty is like the perfect example of hammering guys, hammering guys, winning puck battles. Holy, like love to see that. And it seems like every player is buying into that. Okay, we're gonna win because we're outworking them in the right areas, Ooh. not because we're keeping the puck away from them and then scoring a pretty goal. Uh, you know what? And it, it is, like, annoying to watch a team that just, like, moves the puck around. and then They're playing soccer. Right. Yeah, da, da, you have it. You take it. No, you take it. Can I have it back? Sure. Here you I go. mean, to be fair, that's what their power play is right now. Yeah. But and aside then, from and, the power play. <laughs> but but it, it's annoying because they just do it, like, and then a guy on the other team gets a stick on it. Oh, breakaway. And then they score. Ah. Oh, yeah, awesome. You made 13 passes, no shots on goal, and then the other team scored shorthanded against you. Sweet. Yeah. Right? I'd rather see them just, like, blast it on the net, fight, get it back, give it to the point guy. He moves, ah, another shot. Yeah. Oh, I get blocked, but you get the puck again. And they have traffic in front of the net. Like, Matthew Nyes is a, like, bull in a trap uh, shop in front uh, of the beast. net. Yeah. So I've been enjoying, like, I kind of, I'm, le- I'm less invested in the outcome of each regular season game mm-hmm. because... I'm just happy to see the way they're playing. So Barube is toughening the Leafs up. It's it's. I don't even know if they're tu- if it's toughening them up. It's just the team mentality seems to be, if you want a spot on this team, you're gonna you're gonna outwork the other team and with the that's, puck battles. Yeah, they're playing yeah. Yeah. playoff hockey. They're playing the playoff season. hockey in the regular season. Like that's <laughs> I think need. that's what we're. Yeah, it may not be like as pretty. Like maybe our record's not as good. And like I, during the regular season, yeah. but when. It's not going to be as vastly of a shift in play. Yeah, to go to the playoffs. When the playoffs yeah. happen. It's the way it's to like do it. You have to p- dump yep. the puck in, but we haven't dumped the puck in all Ever. season. Yeah. So it's like I feel like they're getting ready for playoffs now. Yeah. And which, which, and the, and it'd be have to be like pretty drastic for them not to make the playoffs. Yeah. And yeah. Well, f- yeah. With how the how the uh, divisions. And it makes be. sense. They'll have some growing pains shifting to this new style. Yeah. So maybe they're. Record won't be great to start. Yeah, look, look, look how the record is now. They'll figure it out halfway through the season. Yeah. Probably go on a bit of a streak. And then they'll be used to that grinder type of hockey, like that hard hitting win win battles and like yeah, I've been I've been thinking about it like after every after every game they play, I've been thinking about is this team different than previous years? And pretty early on, 
I was thinking yes, and then they d- dropped those two bad games after beating Tampa. Same old Leafs. Same old Leafs. So I, you go, you ride those waves. But I found myself this year not riding the highs and lows as much. I'm kind of like, how about Tanev? More neutral. Like Tanev is walking shots. Like, like we've never had yeah, someone do that. He's just an animal. Like he's he's a team player. Like team mentality for sure. And it just seems like they're playing a game that. I can get behind, regardless of whether they win. Love to hear that. I like that. You know, oh, like I like, I, that like I'm not as invested in the outcome because I'm yeah. like, at least they're playing a style that I can watch. Yes. And that I'm not yeah. gonna get pissed off at. They're, they look like a guy the other day. Like yeah. Matthews cross checked a guy from behind. Yeah, I'm like, like I've never seen that. That's playing you, playoff hockey. Like Chip you, said. you want the team to compete. Yeah. And that's I've always felt just like you said to your U9 team. <laughs> that's exactly it. I want. Yeah. I just want you to compete. I don't care if you lose three nothing, but you didn't like push anyone there's no there's no compete there that's uh embarrassing loss but you could lose eight to eight to three right five goal difference but if you competed for everyone that's like you know we earned that loss yeah as bad as it sounds left it all out there sometimes there's a more skilled team than you but as long as you don't let the second half of a back-to-back and you're just don't don't roll over and let them just walk all over you at least put up a fight yeah right nobody wants to see someone just get beat beat on yeah right you want you want to see a put up a fight yeah, nope. so I, I think that the way that um, Barube has them kind of shaping up to play, it's it's not necessarily reshaping their identity because it's the same big players, but I feel like as a team, they're going to be better suited for other players to have a bigger impact. Like Matthew uh, Nyes is thriving because that's he's, a good point. Because he's the perfect mm. build for what Barube's style, style of hockey is. But when they get to the playoffs or they get to games that really matter, they're – as a team, their their identity is we're all going to work hard. Yeah. Whereas it's, that, they're not they're they, oh. if they lose, it's going to be because their p- big players don't score. That's the same yeah. thing. But they're not going to lose because they can't. They're not defending. They're it's, not winning battles. It's so yeah. smart yeah. because it takes the pressure off the top like five guys, right? Where everyone's important. We need everyone to battle. So you get your third and fourth lines are going out there. Yeah, like everyone's worried that Matthews isn't energy. scoring as much, yeah. and that uh, their possession numbers aren't as good, their power play is, is dead. But I'm no, watching Did they the fix game. it? I they scored three power play goals. With Matthews out. But I could have yeah. predicted Matthews dropping off after a 70 goal. Like That was the yeah. easiest prediction. I could have predicted him for like 35 goals this year. Right, yeah. Like, that's what he did. He went, he went 60 goals, he went to 40, and then he went to 70, and now he's going to go... Yeah. And you know, like obviously he was in like something. He's still going to turn on. it on. He's going to have like a, a streak he's out where he now, goes right? on like ten goals in ten games, and you're be yeah, like, exactly. yeah, goal scorer ever. But you'll get nineteen. In like the like month, if his like shoulders year. messed up, he's not shooting yeah. the puck as hard. Yeah. That's just yeah, I'm it's just simple not as that. Expecting him, he's yeah. got the C now. It's it's different. It's shifting. He's more. He seems focused on the outcome, and if they're winning games, he's a team guy. And more importantly, I think mentally, as those big guys, they're if they're winning games against Tampa and Boston, they're like, we're cooking. Oh, yeah. They don't care yeah. if they lose yeah. to, to the Blues. They're like, we won't have to see these guys until they made the Stanley Cup final. What they're not making the Stanley Cup final, so who cares? Yeah, that's, that's kind of like true. subconsciously. Of course, every game matters. They're like, oh yeah, but like, come yeah. on, they care about beating Boston for nothing. They care oh, yeah. about be- dominating. They'll remember Tampa. those ones, yeah. You know, like those are the ones that really matter in their mind, and they're showing up for those games, and that's what I'm excited for. They got Detroit tomorrow night. Yeah, that'll be an interesting test. And they're playing some like weaker, um, quote unquote, weaker teams in the division, like leading up and stuff. So it'll be interesting. They'll probably lose to Ottawa next week. <laughs> They'll probably like we'll be talking a completely different story, different tune yeah. when they lose. To, but that, that's how they are. Yeah. But if they can play a style of game that lends itself to the playoffs, then at least as a fan, yeah, you're gonna be like, oh, at least they're playing hard. How about so we? Give- they're not folding like over in the playoffs. Yeah, we yeah. need to give some love to to Nylander, though. Oh, oh what yeah. a just the Ten best goals. player on the team yeah, again. He's awesome. Really styles. Yeah, yeah. he's just oh. an animal out there. The, the TSN analyst guys, they did like uh, out of the intermission. Uh, okay, with Matthews out, who's gonna take over? Is it gonna be uh, Domi, Nylander, or Marner? Oh, it's Nylander. The of course, Nyl- already. Yeah, the, it's of it's course already it's Nylander. Nylander. All season, it's been. He's not even on the first line. It's Nylander. It's always yeah. Nylander. He's asking for more minutes, and he goes out and bingo's three or something. Yeah, like that. that was insane. And, like, and some of the guys said, "Give Styles more minutes, Coach." I think two two guys <laughs> said, "Styles needs more minutes." <laughs> yeah, two guys. Willie said, Styles more minutes. Only one guy picked Nylander. I'm like, did these guys even watch the Leafs? I think they just what? picked to be different, like so they each have a different pick. 
Well, I don't know. It's like, two, no, two said Neil or no, sorry, two said Marner, I'm pretty sure, and only one said Nylander. Willie oh, Stiesch. It should be Nylander across the board. That's my guy. Yeah. yeah. How about Alex Nylander lighting it up in the A? When's he getting a crack? Oh, that's nice to hear. What about Alex yeah. and, and Willie on the same line? I'm calling it now. Dude, how cool is it? They're probably going to lunch together, right? They're going <laughs> to play together, pickleball. They're, yeah. They're, yeah. Getting, they're getting breakfast with Pasternak. Yeah, like no, no, a ser- ser- <laughs> serious question. When's Alex Nylander coming up in the lineup? It's got to be an injury. Once, or once they hire Coach Chippy as the assistant coach, he'll get it. Like, what role boys. is he going to play though? Like, Those if, are my boys. Is he a skill guy, or is he going to go on the fourth line? He's going to play with Willie Stiesel, and they're going to light it up. It's going to oh. be the nastiest line in the league. Oh, a little Nylander sandwich, huh? Yeah, Let's Nylander. Put Domi in the middle. Let's go. Nylander Sammy. Mm. Domi oh. up the pipe. Just a full-on or defensively liable <laughs> line, like. <laughs> Like Nylander, not and they're going to be in the O zone the whole time. The best defense yeah. is what good, good offense. offense. Good yeah. offense. So they're going to be in the O zone all game. Be- best Chippy, o- Chippy's making like the NHL twenty five roster. Yeah. Best, <laughs> like best all defense. offense. I'm telling you, like best I, defense is a five goal lead. Yeah. Like just call. I, I'm I'm an honorary Nylander brother. I'm a Chippy Nylander. Yeah. Is he my favorite player? You can center them. I like it. <laughs> I yeah. Willie knows. Willie knows it too. Um, did you guys have any other thoughts on the Leafs? I have a mailbag question, actually, before we wrap up. But Ooh. if you guys had more to talk let's, about the Leafs. Let's get to the mailbag. Get to the mailbag. All right. Yep. We got the mailbag. Morning coffee's going right through me. <laughs> you got to take a little yeah, break. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, this is from Kai. Um, this was actually from Kai a while it. ago. Yeah. Kai sent it. Cobra Kai. No. <laughs> um, basically, I'll, I'm going to paraphrase this, this question because it was a pretty long message. Um, but he's been grinding – like learning hockey for the past seven months he's 16 and he's want he wanted to go to play his first pickup game um, I'm sure that he's already played it by now but his question was how do you know when you're playing pickup hockey or like hockey in general when you're line changing what position to play and I thought it was an interesting question yeah because I'm like usually you just ask the guy when he came off where where were you I mean, pick up, pick or like you just hockey, watch like, where they are. It's no. It, I know. I'm like usually as pickup no hockey. Lines, no one no cares. It's, no it's pickup rover, hockey. You're there's, over. Yeah, there's there, there's you kind of fall into a spot. I jump over the boards. If I look and there's three guys four checking. Oh, pickup oh, hockey. I'm gonna hop on the blue line now. Right. Right. But I don't want to be on that blue line for too. You kind of need long. to know every position. And yeah. Then just kind of read where the, how it it's, develops. It's just a numbers game. You see where the numbers are. Yeah. If, if there's Two guys over on the right side. You're left wing right now. Yeah. Right? And, and, and you just hang out there for the rest of the shift. And hopefully, like, if, if you look and you got three guys deep, you're going to hop on the blue line. But also, you're, you're just, as pickup hockey goes, people aren't going to rip on you if you're not playing. No. Yeah, you, grab you that can, puck, take a first skate. Yeah. yeah. If you're on D. Like, you're, you're there to work on your skills and have fun. And the cool thing is, if you do end up just temporarily on the, on the blue line, you don't want to be there. You're gonna join that next. You're right. Join gonna, the rush. Yeah, you you get the puck. <laughs> Stay in the corner. In your own zone, and you join the rush, and then you just never go back to the blue and line. Float on the and blue line. Someone line. else out there will be like, oh, I guess I'll play D, because <laughs> someone will be more responsible than you. That's yeah. Hilarious. Someone else will know. Leave it for someone so, else. Yeah. That's how Jerry plays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's a bit of a fluid thing, right? And maybe I'll hang out on the blue line for a while, but right when someone hops off. I'm like, oh, I'm sticking someone else here, and I'm going to jump in. <laughs> so the new guy has to go on the blue line. Yeah. Oh. And, and I can dangle these 60-year-old yeah, guys. that's right. what I do. I jump in the play. Yeah, yeah. I'd just like to say good for Kai yeah. for picking up hockey at 16 and grinding, like, rollerblades awesome. in the driveway. Oh, be a rover. Though yeah. doesn't, the position yeah. does not matter. Just have fun. Up. And, yeah, yeah, play. And if you're really that concerned about it, if, like, it seems like the guys are – Trying to play solid positional or whatever. Not a chance. Just, not a chance. I doubt it. Yeah. No, no. Very no, much doubt it. Nobody's playing position yeah. and pick up. But yeah. that's, so that's kind of the nice thing is that even if he doesn't know, hopefully or more than likely, the other f- few people that are on the ice will know. So the, it's just like a fluid. It's up to them to thing, cover for you, right? So it, if you go in there deep, someone's got to cover for he you. He just does whatever he wants, and the other people kind of just like build around him. Like, oh, where am I supposed to be? Where am I supposed yeah. to be? It's like how I play men's league. So in other words, don't worry about it. I don't worry about yeah, it. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's good to be aware, mm-hmm. so that it can help him when he goes into games. Yeah. Right. Like, don't be a Timbit. Don't have three guys on the puck. Yeah. And by Timbit, I mean Timbit's hockey. Yeah, maybe the but here in Canada. This, this is I think he's going to Seattle or from yeah, Seattle yeah. or something. So they, they, they call it Timbit's hockey because like that's what uh, Tim Hortons Timbits they yeah. sponsor the first year of hockey. It's all the five year olds, all five kids on the puck at once. Love right. that. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thanks, uh, Kai, for that yep. question. If you guys have 
any uh want any advice as a coach or parents or yep. players yep. trying out for a team got you want two coaches some, right here we got yeah. two coaches right here yep. put it in, put a comment in the in the mailbag by the way i'm just, just gonna leave this uh with a little highlight from the week mm -hmm. chippy finally showed up for oh, men's league hockey it was incredible so sore stuff. Whoa, men's league hockey and a podcast okay hold on <laughs> get this we, we sent out the bat signal, the chip signal. Yeah. Right? He's in the group chat and never responds because, and I understand, <laughs> I, busy guy, it's, it's, it's stressful. I can't deal with group keep chats, yeah. man. <laughs> I can't deal with them. I don't like when I be added to them, nope. and I can't silence them, nope. I, and I can't leave them. No, it's annoying. It's Some people are not group chat. People. I'm not a group chat and, guy. And you can't catch up. Like, once you've missed a few, you're just like, I'm just not even going to look at it. Not even going to look. I don't even look. Yeah, I can't. I'm, I'm not a part of this right now. Right. But, but by the grace of God... <laughs> Right, he he checked in at the right moment to the group chat, and it was when four people said they couldn't make it, couldn't make. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm out. I'm shoulder injury. Oh, I can't make it tonight. We need. We were gonna a be hero to save. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna stand here and wait. Yeah, I felt like, shows I felt up. like a hero. Oh, that like cool. a knight in shining armor oh. on a white horse. He just <laughs> trots into the dressing room. <laughs> 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 You guys need a defenseman? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Shut down, nice. D-man. And we ha we, we, we've had a bit of a bad record. Mm -hmm. A bit of a bad yeah, record. Yeah, the boys had just one win. So one win. Oh. We've been season. playing some tough teams, and we only had, what, seven guys? So, like, yeah, we had, one, we had, we Without had 3D. 3D and four forwards. defense. Four forwards. Four forwards. So, so there was geez. one guy, one sub for D, one sub for forward on That's the bench. Rough. Yeah. And our team and tends I was to take penalties. So gas, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tend to take penalties. Your your, your break is a penalty. You get to catch your catch your win. If we took one more penalty, we would have forfeited the game. We were yes. Like oh my god. Yeah, because because sometimes there were no subs on the bench. There was two guys oh in the box. My gosh. Five guys in the ice. The other two in the box. Insane. No, it was it was, insane. it was getting close. Anyway, scored a beauty from the point. Two things happened. I didn't score. All right, two two things happened. Number one, before the game. Uh, two guys got ejected from the game before us, and one's on this side of the hallway, one's on this side of the hallway. We start hearing some yelling, some choice words. You're in the dressing oh, room. And you what's going on? <laughs> Open up the door. Every other team that's in the r r in the rink opens up the door. So we're all just standing in the doorway, <laughs> like nosy neighbors. It's like a Letterkenny episode. <laughs> yeah, we're watching the chirps fly. We're smiling, right? Yeah. There happened to be, I think, like a U15 uh, AA team. Oh. The Simcoe Storm. They must have loved that. They were right in the middle of it. Oh. And it was great. It was live commentary. So this guy is like, oh, you're just a pigeon. And then the whole team, the whole AA team is like, <laughs> And then the other guy says something back. And, oh like, my God. and the other guy comes up with a like real clever. Ooh! Like they're hyping these guys That's up. That's hilarious. Okay. It's too bad you didn't get a video of that. I, I, I brought, my, I brought that. my phone out, but like I didn't really, I, I heard the O, right? And I thought it was this guy's team uh, hyping him up. But it's it wasn't kids. until the coaches opened up the door and then the, the other guys, and there's a bunch of like 14 year old kids there with these big, there was like Christmas Day for them. That's so what time jokes. was this at? I thought the game 10, was really 15. late. 10 15. What were those kids doing there? That's, that's, ice time's hard to come by. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. So I loved that. The boys, I got because I was sitting there watching, they saw me and they're like, oh, we're going to hang around and watch some of this game or something. They did their dry land, their stretch, their cool down, right. whatever. They come out. They asked for a pitcher. It was at the intermission yeah. okay. between the second and third. They asked for a pick. Can we get a pick with you and Chip? I was like, yeah, just just wait, guys. So th there's probably about seven or eight kids yeah. Yeah. Right. watching the game. We go to the f opening f or the face off for the third period. Oh yeah, right? I felt like a hero was going out. Like, <laughs> we get the up. puck deep. All the guys are watching from this double A team, and uh, get the puck deep. I beat a guy on the four check, blow yeah. past him, get the puck out of the corner. I turn up ice. I see Chippy right down the center. I throw it up to him. He gets it on his stick. I, I was like basically right behind the net. So I'm like, oh, I got to get out of the way. I go and hide behind the net. I don't, he said never, he hadn't played know. in like five months, <laughs> yeah, right? Never know. Yeah. I don't know where, I don't this, know is where this is going. And, and all I see is the goalie and I see the wind up. I see the shot and boom, it's in the back of the net. You I'm literally like, had a front row right. for the whole team. <laughs> yeah. Coach to coach. Coach to, That's coach, to coach for all the boys. Uh, They're all cheering. They might have got a stick on it. Yeah, I didn't see it. I, I didn't see it. See, I didn't know? see the stick. I saw coach to coach. I saw, I saw. Just coach to coach. And, yeah. the, and the kids are all happy. Coach to coach to mesh. Yeah. yeah. This looked like we were it doing happened, it all season. It, exactly. It happened within seconds. And then the, the, the coolest thing is they're like, yeah. And then they all left. They went back to the dressing room. Yeah. Literally, they all left. 
and then 10 seconds later, the other team came and scored. Yeah. But the but kids didn't, didn't see, see that. that. <laughs> the kids did not see that. For all they knew. It was... Just like if you were recording on YouTube, nobody would see that. <laughs> For all they knew, we were just lighting it up. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, that's a great way to end yeah. it. Bit of a highlight. Of oh, that. that's yeah. great. Chippy, the hero to save. The yeah. Team. yeah. The hero and we did get the win. Save me. We got the win. We need you on the old paint cans. I, I, that. I don't know. <laughs> We're pushing it there. I, 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 I <laughs> lose my mind on the old paint cans. I don't think... <laughs> Too many we got, sweats. We got a couple weaker oh guys, but they're, they're they're a team pleaser, crowd pleaser. They're yeah. how are you guys around. doing on the old paint cans? Not we're, in the, we're in the middle. We're yeah, in the middle. middle of the pack. Oh, just, you, you were talking about the Leafs playing a weak team. Yeah, it's a bit of a point night. Our next game. When is it? We're playing uh, on the seventeenth. We don't play this week. Uh, we play next week, and I've got some jerseys, some new jerseys. Oh, I, I might hey. unveil them for that game. Mm. The fat guy jersey. Just made up two words to unveil, un, 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 reveal, un, and, and unveil. Un, unveil. unveil, unveil, unveil. Maybe I need to I like join that. for the point night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, we got some sweet off. jerseys. I think I got one with your name on the back. No too. way. Yeah, I gotta yeah. show up for that. Stay tuned for that yeah. on uh, Jeremy's IG. Maybe probably a YouTube video. We gotta make a YouTube yeah, video with for those sure. Make a YouTube nasty. video. They're nasty. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Thank you guys. Uh, See you next week. Bye bye. Maybe. Gonna Probably. change the world <laughs> with my with my hockey, hockey stick. stick. Gonna make a real difference. Feed the poor in here. <laughs> <laughs>